Okay, back at the shop. Quick video before my phone dies. Uh, Sunday, September 22nd, I think. Oh, the humidity uh, was the issue. I see this floor is not wet. I see outside it's still wet outside, so it's not water seeping up through the floor. Um, with a uh, neighbor of mine that also rents a shop and he said that he's been here longer than me and whenever it's humid out it gets wet in the shop if you got the door open especially so i'm blaming all of my fiberglass failure at this point on humidity i mean other than you know lack of knowledge and all that good stuff i did this yesterday i um did the back part here with thickened resin on a relatively warm day, probably 72, 73, not hot, but not cold. And uh, no, um, I mean, that is stuck on there, buddy. <laughs> That's some good stuff. It is not coming off. Got some uh, light sanding to do on this side before I can start tabbing it in. Sanding and uh, um, fiberglass, I mean, sanding and... Uh, 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 acetoning before I can cover that in fiberglass, which is what I'm going to do today. There was no PVA put on this. There was no gel coat put on this. There was no air inhibitor put on this. And I just closed the door and went home last night. And I'm going to acetone that side and do that side. And I'm going to do some light sanding on this side first. Uh, I'm going to light sand it acetone it and acetone it and then i'm going to do the peanut butter and the boards on this side and then come back to attempting to tab this in on this side just to uh, keep the workload down um can't say that i'm an expert at this but i can say that i'm pretty pleased with how this job is coming along as far as um whether or not i uh, th well, I think the cabasil might have something to do with helping the resin kick off. Um, I haven't had any problem out of the peanut butter with the cabasil in it. Um, the only thing I had a problem with was this stuff down here. It was hot and humid and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to leave it at that. And my first attempt at um, doing anything with resin and cloth will be me trying to tab that in and i'll see how well i do with that so i'm going to get the sander and the uh, vacuum cleaner and the respirator going and i'm going to hit that real quick with some light sanding then i'm gonna get the acetoning um yesterday i made a uh, mistake i said something incorrectly and that was, if you go to Cox videos, well, I meant Stephen Cox videos. Um, he will, he's a mechanic on YouTube and he, he's a do-it-yourselfer and, you know, he, he likes to work on old stuff. And uh, I like the guy, I do. Uh, not saying he's any, uh, well, even he admits that he's not the world uh, authority on anything he's just somebody who's entertaining to watch and sometimes has some really good ideas and that's kind of where i'm at but that was the guy i was referring to um but i'm going to get after this this is uh sunday afternoon 2 30 i've got to be in my not tomorrow morning it's about a five hour drive got to get up early so i'm not going to be doing this all night um but i'm pleased with what i am learning and seeing now that i'm back to the shop cool dry day <laughs> Might be 70 degrees in here. Uh, not quite. About 68. 66, 65. I'm good. I'm going to throw some stuff down and see if it cures out. If it cures out, I'm going to call it good, and I'm not going to worry about it. Have a great day.